Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome to A Long Way Down. This is a paid promotion. The publisher, Goblin Studios, of this game um, asked me to make this video and offers me money in return, so my opinions might be a little biased, so keep that in mind while watching the video. So uh, this video, uh, this game enters early access. Um, it's a roguelite deck building game. I played an early, early alpha build, I don't know, months ago? I barely remember it, but it, it had some interesting twists. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Um, I, um, yeah, we're just gonna start a new game because I don't have my save file from back then. This is a completely new build. And as I said, I don't remember much, so this is basically a blind playthrough. Um, so we got a dialogue here. Mabri, Sam! Sam, can you hear me? Uh, this is Sam. I think we're playing Sam, if I remember correctly. Mabri, I hear you. Mabri is a really weird name. I wonder what, what, what culture this is coming from. Looks... I don't know. That means your soul hasn't reached its destination. Uh, okay. My soul? Mabri, where am I? Uh, well, your body is in front of me. I'm giving you your funeral your funeral rites. Oh, so apparently I'm dead. Okay, good to know. The spirits told me they found you too gray to lead you too gray to lead you onward. Whatever that means. That or too rebellious. I'm not sure. I'm dead. <laughs> that's what I was wondering. Yes, but that's the least of your concerns right now. I'm going to try and guide you through limbo. The spirits told me that some lost souls become compla complacent. I convinced them to steal some weapons and bring them to you. Cards. You recognize them. We use similar ones. So cards are weapons. You should be able to face the lost souls, uh, the lost soul, souls, uh, souls as we did when you were alive. But there, uh, but here you will do it while looking them straight in the eyes. Papa Lagba, watch over me. Sure. So we're dead. That that's a good start to a game. You can switch between the linked spells. But that was fast. Tutorial. Very good. Okay. So yeah, um, one thing I remember of this game is that yeah, it's a it's a roguelite deck building game kind of I think, or it's about cards and stuff. Um, and there are some RPG battle elements, but you also build the dungeon while you're playing it with cards. So you have cards to place down in a dungeon, if I remember correctly. So I'm looking forward to that because that was the interesting twist about this. Try to find some cover. This place isn't safe. Who knows what will happen if you're caught by a lost soul? Soul, not soul. Soul. It's a soul. Okay, um, so apparently I can move right now. We don't have any cards, I assume, for speed. What's this? Nothing. Probably inventory slots or something. Shins. Escape the dungeon. Inventory empty. Gotcha. 250 HP, okay. Um, I guess. What was this? Pile of slabs. Build your path with some new slabs. Well, I mean, let's try to collect those. That probably makes sense. There we go. Yeah, that's the cards I can use. Okay, take all. Sure. And now I think I can use them to build the, the, the dungeon. These cards can shape the world around you. Okay. So, I can draw a bunch of them. I can't play this one, apparently. I mean, I guess it doesn't fit there, so... That makes sense. So, placing this corridor down here, and that completes the pathway. And I assume I can now attack the electric relic. Be careful, it's quick. Okay. And uh, we enter combat. He, he did pull a sword out of those cards, right? <laughs> okay. So yeah, I think you use cards in the in the dungeon world to build the dungeon. And you use cards in combat mode to, well, fight enemies. Battle, battle cards. Uh, battle. You can see in detail the action that the animal will do by hovering over its cards. A card. Uh, okay, so they show... Um, oh, wait, uh, I'm not sure if I can reopen this. Uh, the leftmost card is your basic attack. It is related to your weapon. You can use it as many times as you want per turn within the limit of your action points. Okay, I assume that's the action points. Uh, you can see in detail the action that the animal will do by hovering over its card. Yeah, you, you, that's, that's the same text. That's, I, I think that's the wrong text. That should tell me something about my buffs and debuffs, I guess. You can sacrifice some health to recycle your deck if you run out of cards or even before. Otherwise, you will only have your basic attack to finish the fight. Ah, interesting. So we're not actually, it's not, you, we're not redrawing the cards. Well, we do, but only if we sacrifice HP for it. A battle card. Your cards allow you to cast spells and combats. You will get all the details of your cards by hovering over them. Each card costs a certain amount of action points to be cast. So that's the number in the upper left. If the element of your card is the same as the as that of your weapon, you will receive a bonus. Fire, Earth, Thunder, Wind and Water. Uh, these icons show you the targets affected by the card effect. The caster, an ally, an enemy, all participants, all allies, all enemies. Okay, that's pretty 
pretty easy to understand. The type of spell is indicated by the shape of the icon. Strategic, defensive, hybrid, offensive. Wonder if that has any effect. So it doesn't seem like... Oh, there we go. He, is, uh, he wants to use Hardening. It's a common spell. Deals 10 to 15 damage to the target and increases all allies' defense by 5% during two turns. He wants to deal a little bit of damage and um, protect him themselves. Um, so this is my basic attack. The poke. That's a painted stick. Is my weapon apparently. Uh, it does send damage to the target, so that's the base attack. Then we have armor blasting. It's a spell. Uh, increases the. Wait, what is the element of that? I think. Is that the element? Is that wind? Maybe. Uh, this looks more like wind. Not sure what this is. I'm not sure if this is an element in the first place. I'm not sure. Um, increases target's defense by 15% during three turns. Uh, Divine Blessing, increase target's attack by 25% for two turns. That is buffs my attack by 25%, which is okay. How many, how many action points do I have? Are those my action points? Probably. Um, swiftly deals 20 damage to the target. It's uh, better than my poke. Uh, I've done twice. So I, I don't think my weapon has an element. I don't think this is the symbol for the element. The symbol, element symbol seems to be seem to be over here. Can I check my weapon? Nope. Okay, so I have three action points. So I can use thrust twice, which probably makes sense. Um, wonder if this is actually worthwhile. Like 15% defense. I mean, over three turns, that keeps some HP. Uh, I think it seems more valuable to play Divine Blessing. And then thrust twice and deal a decent amount of damage. Okay, so he, the thing has 30 HP left. What's an electric relic? So that was action points, right? I didn't actually pay attention, but I assume it was. Um, Divine Blast, increase targets, attack by 24. So I can buff my attack even further. I assume that stacks. Yeah, it does. Okay, that's neat. So this should actually kill them. Yeah, so it seems these are action points. Okay. This should actually finish the fight. Oh, no, he has some defense. Damn it. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, I could poke. I could poke. There we go. Okay. Victory. Reward. Blast attack. Spell. Deals 20 damage to a target and increases castle's attack by 50% during two turns. That sounds useful. That sounds actually very useful. Now, can I check my weapon? You can retrieve the cards dropped by Lost Souls and add them to your deck on the appropriate altar. Uh, okay, so I guess I can't do that right now. Where's my stuff? There. It seems to have, like, I'm not sure, is that an element? I don't know. doesn't show my weapon anywhere. This is not actually my weapon. This is just my basic attack to poke. No, it's the pointed stick. Never mind. So this is the weapon. I assume the weapon has no element. That would make sense for a starter weapon. Okay, um, can I drag this? I can. WSD works as well. So I assume these give me more cards, more tile cards. This seems to be... Campfire, rest and recover at this warm campfire. Uh, what is this? Is that an electric relic? I guess? Maybe it's at the campfire? Probably. This is the exit, maybe? There, there's a, a workshop. Okay. There's a, an ally. Let's try to get there. Move here. Oh, okay, all the enemies move as well, okay. There. Then we go to the workshop. No, not the workshop, what's that? That's a, I'm not sure what I did. Um, but I can change my deck here apparently, so I'm gonna put that in here. Uh, okay, it would make sense. Like, if, if I would redraw my cards, like in, in, in a regular deck building uh, or 
um, collectible card game or something. It would make sense to keep your deck small because you redraw them, but since I only have the cards available I have in my deck, um, because I don't automatically redraw or reshuffle my discard pile, it makes sense to put more cards into the thing. There's also a question mark. Okay, apparently I'm, I entered the armory. You can only equip spells and equipment found during your explorations in the armory and outside the enclosure. I assume the enclosure is the, is the level. You can drag the cards from your back to your deck for use in combat. Uh, the, back, the backs let you store the equipment that you find. Be cautious, its size is limited and if you de die in a dungeon you lose all of its content. Whew. The contents of your bag follow you everywhere. You can change the equipment you wear at certain points in your journey through the dungeon. But if you die, you lose everything you have. Think careful about what you're bringing with you. So, yeah. So, I equipped a new card. And that's an ally, I assume. Marbury. I see another soul nearby. Uh, near you. It doesn't seem hostile. Try to parley with it. You have the same goal. Maybe you can join forces. Okay. Gonna try doing that. Mm. Wonder if I... I can't do that because of the tutorial. Oh no, I can't get through there anyway. There is a wall there. Never mind. I just do this. Uh, move over there. And move towards Marcus. Hey, you lost two? Completely. Funny clothes, where are you from? Roman Gaul, Aquitania. Aquitania? Aquitania? Sounds vaguely familiar. I must be in Europe. You're from Africa. Almost. And yet, we have no difficulty in understanding one another. The afterlife takes from form to be convenient to the soul that crosses. That voice, is that Leto's god of death? Am I dead? Yes, we are both dead, but the voice you can hear is the voice of the one who is performing my funeral rites. She can speak to the dead as I once could. Okay. Helmet of the Ram. It's a hat equipment item, obviously. It's a helmet. Uh, and has a healing spell. Ooh, it restores 15% health points to the target each during two turns. Oh, okay. That sounds useful. And I got a second character who wears the helmet and has a Kopesh. Is a fire weapon, apparently. There we go. Now we have a, fi have a weapon with an element. Uh, heavy blow. Diamond shield. Increases this character's offensive spell damage by 25%. So he has special skills, apparently. It's one action point in battle. Half the quantity of powder gained. What is powder? Not sure. Oh no, I got another helmet. Okay, cool. Um, I can't equip it right now, though, because I'm not in the armory, so... But does he have a different deck? No. no. Okay. So we share the same deck, I assume. Ooh, who's that? Dungeon Master! Here you are! You're the one who was who has my cards. I thought I alone could use them. Thief, you will pay the price for messing with the dungeon master. No, he stole he steals a card. Oh no, he what? What did he do? He summoned in front of me, apparently. That's that guy's using what text wasn't too fast. I think he's the one the spirits stole them from. Get behind me, African. I have fought barbarian giants all my life. A bag of bones won't intimidate me. So he summoned a skeleton, apparently. So let's try to beat the skeleton. It attacked already. Uh, a little help would be appreciated. Okay, stay back and let me fight. Um, how, about, how about we do this together? So, seems like he's buffed. If swiftly, swiftly deals any 24 damage to the target. I wonder if the 20% are calculated here already. I think they are. At least they were for me earlier. So. Um, battle. During fight with several allies, you can switch from one to another by clicking on them. Action points are shared between all characters. Okay. Moving from one ally to another also allows switching between the weapons and therefore between their basic attacks. Your characters have different abilities that you can find in a characters tab in the inventory. They usually have a downside and an upside. Marcus has a 25 bonus to his offensive spells, adds an action point in combat, but divides the received powder by two. Whatever powder is. So, but switching doesn't cost me an action point, right? How do I switch? Like that. Okay. Yeah, so I don't lose his benefits by switching back and forth. But if I attack with him, the offensive spells do more damage, especially if they are fire spells because he has a fire weapon. So um, I don't think I have a fire spell, but... 
Okay, okay. And he has a heavy blow. Heavy blow. It deals 15 to 30 damage for two action points. Points, points, which seems good. So okay, there's a text down there. But elemental bonus activated because the basic attack apparently gains the bonus from the weapon it comes from as well. Um, so I have four action points, so I could use all of those, or I could use the basic things. What do I have? Divine Blessing, increase targets attack by 25% for two turns. That seems pretty strong. Um, it affects... It affects one ally. So I could put that on Marcus. I wonder if there's, like, if I can affect who is he tar he's targeting. He seems to be targeting um, Sam, but... I wonder if I can change that somehow, or if he gets a downside for attacking the one who's behind or something, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I uh, can try to deal some damage, increase armor. I'm not sure 15% armor is that useful, to be honest. I'm not convinced by that. It reduces his damage by, I don't know, a few points. It seems to be more effective to just hit them. Why does it say 30 damage here, but 26 in the tooltip? That's weird. Or maybe 26 is the base damage and 30 is the calculated one with the Marcus bonus. Might be it. So, I definitely want to buff Marcus. So, no, it, both numbers did go up weird. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a bonus from his special ability though, because it only shows up on Marcus. Um, and then I'm gonna hit him pretty hard. Twice. And now I could either hit him again with Sam for 10 damage, or I just use Armor Blessing. I mean, it saves a few hit points. He's just gonna try the same trick again, but I don't think he's gonna survive this round. Remove all targets' blessings. More attack buff. Tier 2 damage to the target and increases Karsta's attack by 15%. So I just gonna. Divine Blessing to buff Marcus and use Blessed Attack. No, Marcus has a 73 attack buff, percent attack buff. That's, that's good. And then I deal 52 damage to the skeleton. And it's done. Reward. Coif of protection. Head. Common. So this gives a stat buff and a slash attack. Okay. 3 energy, but 50 to 70 damage. That's decent. And powder. Okay. Whatever powder is. But we got half of it because of Marcus. Ven Vini Vidi Vici. No. Vini Vidi and Julius couldn't have done any better. Uh, Sam, you found some powder. You can upgrade your cars like I thought taught you. Use the altar right in front of you. Okay, so we go to the workshop. And uh, now I can upgrade stuff. With the workshop, you can upgrade your cards in exchange for powder. Drag the card to be upgraded in the silver slot. If you can't combine, make sure you have the right amount of powder. Uh, so I can only use that one. So I can use powder to upgrade it. Just get like a stronger thrust. It said something about combining, but I'm not sure what it meant by that. We have multiple thrusts, so yeah, I have to upgrade the powder there. So apparently, it costs exactly 75 powder, so the amount I have. I got a better thrust now. It's just still called thrust, though. It's just a better word. Can't upgrade that, obviously, because I don't have to order quiet. Okay. Whoa, you look like you know what you're doing. Are you a priest? Something like that. Mercury be praised. I'm sticking to you like a magistrate to a Buffett. Buffet. Buffett? Buffet? How do you pronounce that in English, actually? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so is there anything I want to go except for there? Not really. I, it would probably make sense to collect a few more of those cards though. Because without them I'm not going anywhere. So, And I think the tutorial is forcing me to do that anyway. Take more cards. What's that? Wall destruction. Okay. Remove all, all walls around a slab. 
Um, okay, so I'm supposed to use that here. Don't really need to, I can just go this way. Oh, actually, I'm not supposed to use that there, I think. I'm supposed to use that there. I'm gonna try to save it. it. Seems like Tutorial wants me to use it there, but there seems to be no point doing that. Uh, something happened. Let's go to the armory really quick and equip some stuff. Is that a head slot? Both are head slots. So this gives 5% defense and a healing litany. And this gives 5% to all the stats, or 4 stats. It's not all the stats, but most of them. And gives a slash. Hmm. Marcus has uh, the helmet of Ram already. I wonder if that adds a card I can draw, or if that's some sort of basic attack. Can I, can I give these to Sam? Doesn't seem like I can unequip Marcus stuff. Okay. Um, like healing sounds useful. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I mean, this buffs attack, okay, but I'm not gonna attack with Sam anyway. Plus 10 HP sounds neat, but what's the other one? What's the first stat? Uh, Critical bonus. Okay, that's not that interesting. Let's give him the helmet and see that I can draw the heal. That seems to be useful. It's not a card, right? No. <laughs> oh, here's the healing litany. Okay, now it shows up. Oh, okay, so I think it's just cards I can draw during the battle. But I have to pay attention next next combat if I actually can use them um, if, uh, whenever I want to have, to have to draw them. I've never been to Africa. Me neither, I was born in the Americas. I never heard of them, must be in Asia. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Did I break the tutorial? Or am I supposed to play a card? I'm probably supposed to play a card. Um, let's use this one. And then one. Or slaps. So th this seems to be pretty un like unnecessary right now, but I I remembering that this is actually important and actually in like the, the placing of the slaps actually involves some strategic decisions in later levels. So I'm looking forward to that, but right now it's a little bit obvious what to do. Just use whatever fits to get where you want. There's not much to think about. So there's another relic. So let's kill that. It's trying to debuff Marcus. Deals a little bit of damage and reduces the attack power. Okay. So where's the... Do, did I... Do I have the healing? Is it... Just available? No, I think I have to draw it. Seems to be the case. Um, so yeah, Divine Blessing seems to be a good idea. If I cannot just kill him. Doesn't seem to be the case. That's uh, 30, 56. If I'm lucky, 80. Oh, actually, if I'm lucky, I kill him. I mean, I could try killing him before, like in the first turn, but I need a good roll on the heavy blow in that case, so seems unlikely. I, mean, I could roll that first. I mean, if I waste a little bit of damage, it's not too bad. I can just kill him next turn anyway. So let's actually um, use that, see if I get a good roll. That might be enough. Six. That's exactly enough. There we go. Should have. Oh, 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 that was. I could have made it safe. One of the the, the the last attack I used actually gave me an attack buff. That would have been. Yeah, should have played that first, obviously. Uh, Iron Helmet. Defensive attack. Two energy points. Deals damage equals to the castle's defense. Hmm. And defense is a stat you have, right? Yeah. Okay. 
and a bit of powder. I could walk all the way back to the armory. Uh, I think that makes sense right now. If I want to use that helmet, that is. Oh, let's see. Actually, I probably don't. I want to heal. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. I mean, I don't lose anything by walking back and forth here, so... It's fine. So let's fight that thing, because I get rewards for fighting it. I should have put a, car, a, a, a slab there, actually. Let's do that now. Do that, and then do that. So I think you can place as many slabs as you want in your turn. And then you can move, and when you move, the enemies will move as well. And you draw new slabs. I think that's how it works. Then again, here, attack before I... I'm not sure, maybe not. Actually, I don't know. I'm not sure. So, I have a power debuff on Sam, which doesn't bother me too much. So, let's do it correct this time, because I think I have the same cards. Yeah, I just do blessed attack first. Uh, what's that? Penitence. Removes all targets, curses, and restores 3% health points to the custom. And here's the healing litany. But why should I heal if I can just kill that thing and prevent more damage that way? So I use blast attack first, which gives me a damage buff. And let's do the heavy blow first, just to see if we get a terrible roll. I don't, so I use the thrust to finish it off. And that ends the counter, get another coin for protection, which I decided again, uh, which decided I decided not to use, and then I leave the first dungeon, escape the dungeon, reward, magical scepter, 50 HP, 20% attack, that sounds like a lot, that's 50% uh, on wind spell, so this is actually a weapon with with uh, an element now. It has a strike basic attack that deals 10 to 20 damage. Okay, it's way better than the painted staff I have so far. You might have some nifty spells up your sleeve, but what are you without your legion legionnaire? African. Uh, I guess we got separated. I was back there for a second. Sam, still there? Good, I think you're alone, more or less. You should meditate with me. Review, review your life, that's why you're here. You were born to a black mother and an unknown father. Listen to the songs of the sugarcane workers. You were a mixed race. Among the blacks, thirsty for revenge, you were the whitest. With suffering shaped people, you were the most perfect of all. The ideal fertile ground for a life of conflict. So we got some political themes here. Ambalas Chamber 1. Okay. You okay? Not great. Take your time to prepare yourself before you continue. To head deeper into limbo, step onto the green slab. Okay. Starting island. So we have islands and dungeons. This small island is the hub. You end up here before you go to a new dungeon enclosure. Okay. Um, so this is, yeah, the help. The green slab will make you leave the island and will launch you into the dungeon. Be sure to get equipped before. On the trunk you will find everything you need to get ready. You can change your equipment, build your deck and upgrade spells or equipment. You can use the breach to revisit levels you already completed. Okay, what can I do there exactly? I could replay that? No, no, I didn't. Oh, it's just the hub. Wait, what? Enclosure 1. Okay, so yeah, I can go back to here. That makes that does make much sense right now. Um, okay, so yeah, I definitely swipped the weapon out because that one is so much better. And um, I think I want to he keep the helmet for now, though. So I think everything that was in my back is in my chest now. So I probably don't bring that into the dungeon, but I keep it forever, I assume. Uh, I have more cards available. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Heal. 10% health, that's not a lot. Wait, what's my weapon? My weapon is wind. 
Um, well, blessing. Increases target's defense. Hmm. Okay. So I can add three more cards and I can remove something if I don't want it. Can I actually get rid of those? No. Okay, so Thrust is one of the strongest cards I have, so I'm definitely keeping that. Amor Blessing seems to be a little wasted, to be honest. So let's keep that out for the for the keep, take that out for the moment. And we can fill, use it as filler if we have slots uh, left. Remove all targets blessings. That can be good in situ it's situational, but I assume it can be good. Um, so there seem to be a lot of blessings going around. Um, blast attack definitely is very useful because it buffs and attacks at the same time. So, like, while I'm, I don't feel like armor blessing is that great because it only gives me a, a small defense buff, an attack that would give me a small defense buff would be useful. Um, I'm not sure about the divine blessing yet, but 25% is just a big number to be honest. And for two turns, it seems to be very valuable. I'm gonna keep that in for a moment. Heal, 10% heal, that's not a lot at all, is it? But you probably need it, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep that in. Seems like, because I don't think, yeah, you need to survive the dungeon, don't you? So, and doesn't seem to be a way to heal between combat. Um, remove all target curses and restore 3% health, two points to the castle. Keep, let's keep that in. I'm not sure what enemies we're gonna fight, but let's keep that in. Then we have the thrusts. Where's the better thrust? There's a better thrust. Uh, how can I, wait, why can, why can I not put that in? Let's see, upgrade is fast. Why can I not put that in? Oh, I can only... Wait, why am I not allowed to put these in? Why am I not allowed to... Put the better thrust in? I want the good thrust, the upgraded one. Rarity, turn, category. Turn? That means... Why can I not put the this one in? I want that one. Weird. I'm not sure, there seems to be a rule about that for some reason. I'm not sure what that rule is, but it doesn't seem like I can equip the cards I have over here. Which is weird. Oh, they're in the workshop? Okay, I can upgrade them. But why would I upgrade them if I cannot put them in my deck? I mean, I don't have the power for it anyway, but... And, like, use duplicates or something? No, it doesn't seem to be. just need power it. Oh, wait. Recycle? Okay, upgrade. You can increase quality of your cards by using some power there. Allows you to convert your unused cards into powder-based components for other crafts, okay? Cloning a card allows you to duplicate it in exchange for powder, to put several in your deck or to serve as a component for an upgrade. Create combine some powder with your unused cards to obtain new spells. Ah, I don't have recipes though. So, probably need recipes to do that. Okay, I could recycle some cards to then upgrade some cards, but I'm not convinced I can put the upgraded cards in my deck, so I'm not sure that's actually a good idea. Yeah, this seems to be, this seems to, this seem to be like three thrusts are these three thrusts. Actually, I have four thrusts though. I have four basic thrusts and one upgraded one, but it only shows three here. I'm confused. Okay, I don't want to really want to spend anything here without knowing what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna skip that for the moment. For the time being and enter the next Dungeon. Go. Ballast Chamber 1. Kill this monster. Mini Paras. Okay, so that's a quest. I see something I had which blocks your path. You will have to defeat this lost soul in order to, convin to continue. So we have, so this is the main mission. Kill the mini Paras. Uh, mini Paras is not so small, I guess. Don't activate a campfire, okay. Don't activate that specific campfire. But I'm supposed to activate three campfires and kill five monsters, but don't activate this one. One, two, three, okay, that's doable. 
I assume I get rewards for completing these missions, right? Probably. There is a chest, so I definitely want to get over there. I have enough slabs to do whatever, though, so I don't have to worry about that too much. What is a campfire even doing? I'm not sure. Can I heal there? Rest and recover at this one campfire. Yeah, I think I can. Why didn't I do that earlier? Weird. Mm -mm -mm. Is fighting actually a good idea? It gives me some powder, but besides that, it doesn't seem to be that valuable. There's no XP system or something. I don't seem to be leveling up. Um, so let's get that thing first. Um, what's this? You have increased monster reward, but also its strength. Ah. Interesting. Let's be silly and put that on boss. Might be a mistake. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, he just... He used one of my slabs. Oh, I have actions here as well. Oh, I have three action points. Okay, so I think one turn... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. In a turn, I can move and spend three action points. That's how it works. He just used one. And then the, the dungeon master uses one of my slabs. And it wants to move. So... I should do this. Then get over here. Yeah. At the feet. Altruism heals everyone for 10. But everyone, right? Like everyone, everyone? I think that's everyone, everyone, even including opponents. Which is not too bad still, but. Yeah. We'll see about that. E -e -e. So, where to go now? Um, I can go over here. Yeah, that's not what is this. Sarcophagus. Find treasure or better combat. Okay. I definitely want to get to the armory eventually. Portal. Leave the area without losing your backpack. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get over there later, but... Oh wait, I want to activate three campfires, so... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to get to all the campfires. So let's start by getting to this campfire, actually. I don't recognize these writings on the walls. Other souls have already given from formed to this place. Shouldn't have changed when I came along. You're not that important. I don't know, he plays a card. Oh yeah, he wants to connect it. So the mo yeah, the dungeon master tries to connect me to the monsters. Huh. Icky. Is moving costing me an action point? I think moving costs me an action point. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Okay, that, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So what, what did it just happen? Oh, wait, don't activate campfire failed. Oh, I th oh, I don't have to activate any, but I'm supposed to activate three. So these missions are just clashing. Oh, did I just heal for 50? I think I healed for 50, so that was a waste. Because it seems to be consumed now, so meh. So that's a good way to heal between combat though. Um, How do I do this? Not that easy to connect over here. I think it's better to connect from over there. Well, even that will take me quite a few slabs. I can use three from here, which would be easier. But I have to get over there eventually anyway. But ugh, I need tons of slabs to get over here though. Yeah, we're just gonna go with this. Um, I think I'm gonna do this and I hope that the dungeon master is connecting this. So I have to fight the monster. So, so I don't don't have to. Uh, so I don't have to do it. Mm -mm -mm. The dungeon master can also block me off. I just realized. So I have to be a little careful about that. Uh, uh. Let's see this. Yeah, thanks. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, do I fight it? No, I think I'm gonna use a slab to build a bridge over here. Or here, maybe first. That seems useful. Oh, wait, not like that. 
because then I'm blocking this off. Uh, let's just use that one. Not sure why he did that. Okay, now we're fighting the thing, whatever it is. It's it's a uh, fallen king. Seems like they always get the first strike, which is a little annoying. Last attack. 30 to 50 damage. Ooh. This is Kessler's attack by 20%. Ooh, that's actually pretty heavy. Huh. Okay. So I got Pantheonance. Which would heal me by 3%, which is 9 HP. Let's not do that right now. Uh, thrust. Oh, I got the better thrust here. Wait, I'm confused. A little confused on how the deck thing works. Um... I was not convinced this is actually my deck, but apparently it is. So, yeah, I have three energies. I'm gonna use both thrusts and then... Armor Blessing or Strike? How much HP does he have? 100. It's hard to judge. Let's use the Armor Blessing. And then hit it. That's a lot of damage. And I have to kill it quick, preferably, because that's another 33 to 40 damage. Uh, Divine Blessing gives me an attack boost. There's a heal. And actually heals by 30, which is pretty decent, actually. I thought 10% is not much, but actually, yeah, it is decent. It's not as much as this one deals damage. But I, I, it's only one third of my action pool, and this is all the enemy does in one turn. So healing seems to be useful. Let's do that. Um, blessed attack. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Divine blessing, blessed attack. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill him anyway this round. So divine blessing into blessed attack. That should deal a bit of damage and gives me a good attack buff. Ouch. So now I got the healing litany, which restores 15% HP. It costs two, two energy though. So it's only set. Wait, each turn during two turns. Ooh. So that's in a heal over time. The thing is, can I kill him this turn? I probably can kill him with a strike though, or two. There is an option to not do that, but then look at this. That's 50, 55 to 83 damage. I don't want to get hit by that, so. This is still healing me instantly if I do it, right? The question is, is the strike dealing enough damage? Because probably it's, it's probably not. So I cannot just gamble for killing it with one strike. So yeah, I'm just gonna strike it. What it be? Um, I could use this to heal 9 HP before I kill it. Yeah. There go. Yeah, the, the attack buff is pretty crazy. It even makes the basic attacks really strong. Deter deterioration. Decrease target defense by 15% for 3 rounds. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Can't get there. I can only go four steps, right? Going there costs me a full action, and there's also an enemy there. Uh, yeah, I have to make that stop earlier or later anyway, though. So let's do it now. But well, first, let me check really quick uh, my deck. So. Doesn't seem like a. Oh, there is the upgraded thrust. Never mind. Maybe I just missed it when I looked during the during the, in the hub. Maybe. Okay. Um. Yeah, I want to kill five monsters. I want to activate campfires. Yeah. Okay. We go there. Fight the other king. Deal. Really decent damage. Though. Whoops. Sorry. So I drew Blessed Attack, Divine Blessing, and Thrust. It seems to be like a good combo to pull off. 
Um, last attack is just really good. Now I have a 40% attack buff. And now the thrust deals 39 damage. And that means he's in killing range for next turn. So let's see what I draw now. Did he stole a card? I think he stole a card. Got the heal. Cannot kill him, but not safely with one strike though, so... Uh, oh, with one thrust though. Ooh. So I'm gonna play heal. And penance to heal myself up a little bit and then finish him off with the upgrade to thrust. There we go. Not too bad. Got armor blessing. And now I'm at the armory. Okay. So I got some equipment. No, this is the one I have. Thing. Is it, is it a duplicate? Because it might be a duplicate. I don't think it's that one. I can't, like, this is an X. It might be that one. I'm not sure. Um, I got some shoes. And those are cards, right? So I can put them in a deck? Yeah. And let's do that. Actually, Comet doesn't go too long. Getting rid of a few cards is probably not a terrible idea. It might be good for the boss, but for the regular enemies? I don't want to clear use this. I'm not sure I can reopen it without spending another action. Like, getting the good cards seems to be more worthwhile than... And the other things. I'm not a fan of this at all. Well, it might be good against the boss, but... Um, but yeah, against a regular enemy, that's 15% more damage, basically, for three turns. I don't know, it's not terrible, but... So let's keep it in for the boss. I think I might need it for the boss. Like, this one is really good, obviously. Divine Blessing is strong. Healing pen. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of Penitence. It, it's a heal, but it's a very small heal. And as long as I'm not getting cursed like hell, um, yeah. I'm thinking about getting rid of Armor Blessing as well. It gets me down to 9 cards plus the base cards. That should be enough. If I... If I can get to another armory or to this armory before I fight the boss that might be worthwhile but yeah so this heals me with 50 right that gets me to 3 not 11 that seems like a good idea let's do that yeah good okay dungeon master destroy some walls Yeah, yeah, we can fight. That's okay. Uh, I want to activate the last campfire eventually, so I want to connect this. Um, also want to kill enough monsters, but that should be easy. So I want to connect this. I want to get the loot, obviously. Yeah, let's connect this. For, what is this? New action point. Get another action during your turn. What? What is this? Get another action during your turn. So how do I do I just play this? Oh, okay, it's a slap that gives me an action point. That's useful. Connect to the boss over here. In. Oh, whoa, there was an enemy on the slab. Oh, I think it showed on the slab. Oh, I think that was a mistake. Well, more enemies for me. Um. <laughs> That was probably not the best move ever. Let's 
to wall that off, okay. Not too worry about, worried about that. Okay, so I drew a Divine Blessing, Altruism, yeah, that heals any, any, everyone. For 10, that card is pretty bad. That's actually really bad. That's 10 HP healed, including the enemy, which is not too bad because he is at full HP. I don't think he can overheal, but that's really bad. Um, I'm just gonna heal and double Divine Blessing, and then hopefully get a good next round. Oh, you don't discard the cards you don't use, obviously, so... Yeah, yeah I'm, I think I can kill him with that combo, easily. There go. Another deterioration. There. And there. Oh, I don't pick them up if I just move past them? Okay. Let's get there. Get the treasure and the fight. What's this? A pawn? More HP. Uh, it uses infection. It's a little bit of damage, not too bad. Um, Divine Blessing. Blast attack. Thrust. And turn. Can I kill it? It's 80 damage, 78. And if I'm lucky, that's 1 to 20 damage. If strike deals enough damage, he's dead. What is another 25% on thrust? Not enough, right? Don't think that's enough to make it two strikes. Actually, wait. So, 40%, we got to 39 by 40%, so what is the base damage of this card? Uh, 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 math don't fail me. One, 40, 39 divided by 14, what about by 10? Where's my calculator? Smart forward. Divided by 14, multiplied by 10. So the base damage seems to be 27 or 28. So uh, I assume 28. Um, 28. Or 28 divided by 4, so 25%, is 7. So that's not enough to get it over 50. Yeah, okay, so let's not do that. So I'm going to use a strike and see where that leads me. That's 25. That's not enough to kill it. So. It doesn't really matter, now that I think about it. It doesn't really matter, because I kill it next turn anyway, whatever I do. So, yeah. Just thrust at it. Right now I drew a heal, which I can use before ending the fight. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's see. I assume I get some treasure here. A magical scepter. Isn't that the one I use? I think it is. Yeah. Oh, a trap. <gasps> he activated the trap! <laughs> okay, I, I take that. Um, that's good. Fallen King can curse its prayer. I assume this is an yeah, this is a tile with an enemy on it. So I don't want that. Oh, I can only take all. I cannot. Can I refuse to take all of them? I think yeah. Okay, I refuse to take all of them. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. That was a good idea. I might run out of slabs eventually, but I still have plenty to be honest. So uh, let's connect some treasure. Sure. 
it's uh, this one should have some damage already. Yeah, it's stepped into the trap. Right, that's good for me. Um, let's just heal. Divine blessing, thrust. Uh, I think I could have killed it if I would have striked instead of divine blessing. Hmm. Too bad. Um, no, I can kill it, so I'm gonna use heal first. Uh, altruism. Altruism. Um, to gain some HP. Then I finish it off with a thrust. Oxidant attack. 24 to 42 damage to the target and decrease its defense by 10%. Hmm, that's not too bad. Only for one turn, though. And I got some armor. Betrayal. Draw one card, increase the damage. Of an enemy of 50% during one turn. That doesn't seem to be too useful, but gives good stat boosts. The question is do I want to go back to the armory now? I think I want to. Let's not risk anything here. So let's equip that and then put all the cards in here. I, I cannot fit all of them actually. Um, which one do I tag out? Heal? Uh. Oh no, 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 no. Penitence, no. Might get some curses, who knows. Eh. Uh, deterioration? Okay. Let's roll with that. So remember, I upgraded this boss. So I hope it doesn't go too badly. Oof! 60 damage right in the face. Oof, 250 HP. Starfall, holy... I'm more sure I can actually survive this. This is probably gonna wreck me. Uh, betrayal seems to be not a good idea. Um, Deterrent, not so great, but I might do it anyway. 50% defense. I don't know, is that good? Doesn't have any defense, but that's basically a damage buff. For three turns, I guess that makes sense in the first turn. I'm not sure I actually survived this fight, because that thing deals a lot of damage. I think I'm done in two turns. And I don't think I can kill it in that time, so I'm probably gonna lose this fight. How much? Is that three damage? I don't know. I don't want to risk pressing that button. Um. Yeah, I think it makes sense to use Divine Blessing now. It's probably worthwhile to attack this in next turn. Um, and then I just throw the thrusts at it. And hopefully kill next turn, but... Uh, or somehow survive another one. M nope, not gonna happen. No, some armor is not gonna save me here. Some armor is certainly not gonna save me. Uh, removing blessings is not helping. Um, I'm mean, definitely gonna <clears throat> throw the oxidant attack at it. It's definitely a good idea. I, mean, I could strike it twice and hope that's enough. Because I don't think armor blessing is actually saving me here. That would be 70%, 17% armor. And he deals way too much damage. To that being any decent amount. Yeah. Let's just throw two strikes and hope for lucky rolls. I think that's the only option. That was certainly a lucky roll. That was a crit, I think. Good. Good. Very good. Not sure what was my what is my crit chance? I don't know. Oh, I found a Falcon. 
Um, less attack and health boost, but more attack, uh, crit attack chance, I think. And an Earthquake. 12 to 18 damage. It's not too much, but it's an Earth card, so it might be useful. Eh, uh, I could I could leave the level now, but I didn't finish all missions yet. So, continue the level. Also, also there's treasure here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to continue here, but I'm going to wrap this up for a moment. And I'm going to do another video later on. So, um, yeah, keep in mind this is a paid promotion, so my opinions might, might be a little biased. Uh, the game is called A Long Way Down. And it's in early access when you watch this video. I'm TH Pine. Thanks all for watching. Have fun and see you next time.